Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on regionally around the area. So as you look through the southeast, you see we've got some isolated showers making their way through North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, down into Alabama. And as you get near the Gulf Coast down in southern Alabama, uh, along the uh, panhandle of Florida and out into Louisiana and Mississippi, there are some showers and thunderstorms going on there. And no uh, warnings out at the time or anything like that, but certainly keeping an eye on those. Uh, and all this activity will continue to track through our area as we go through today. We could see some strong to severe storms this afternoon and evening. Let's go ahead and turn off all this uh, satellite data real quick for you and show you what we're talking about here. Um, and we'll turn the lightning data off as well and bring up the uh, Storms Prediction Center and what they're showing. And you can see, and we're getting closer to home to give you an idea, the, uh, here's, here's Rowan County right here. There's Salisbury for context. And you can see we've got a marginal risk for severe weather with that dark green. And then if you head out east, uh, that is a slight risk for severe weather where all that yellow is there. So we'll certainly continue to keep an eye on that, see if the Storms Prediction Center were to shift that yellow further west toward our area, or if it actually shifts the green further, the dark green further east and puts us in more of a general thunderstorm risk. Uh, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Right now, the main threats, if we get any strong to severe storms today, would be damaging winds, frequent lightning, and uh, potential for hail. Uh, can't rule out uh, an isolated tornado, but that risk is very, very low with this system right now in our area. But we'll certainly continue to keep you updated on it. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back and we'll give you the five-day forecast and more. All that's coming up right after the break. Hi, this is Michelle Patterson. During these uncertain times, everything is changing constantly. We are working hard to adapt in any way that we can. We know many of you, unfortunately, will probably not be able to come out and visit our farm this season. So for the first time ever, Patterson Farm Market and Tours is offering a virtual tour experience. Here at the farm, we believe agricultural education is essential and we strive to educate our community about how important agriculture is to our everyday lives. Like all of our tours, each student will receive an activity book, a farm takeaway, as well as the materials needed to do a guided hands-on activity. We will deliver the students' kits to schools within a 25-mile radius. For schools further, there may be an additional fee. Our virtual tours will last approximately one hour. We are working on seasonal and non-seasonal virtual tours. This way, you will be able to virtually visit our farm year-round. If you are still able to come to the farm, we would love to have you. We are following all the current CDC guidelines, so we are limiting the amount of students per each tour. To book a virtual or on-site tour, check out our website at visitpattersonfarm.com. Virtual tour dates will be posted soon. The weather impacts for today sponsored by Patterson Farms virtual tours going on now. You saw the details for that during the break. To book your virtual tour, visit pattersonfarm.com. We'll see mostly cloudy uh, skies during the morning hours with some isolated showers possible. Uh, winds will be out of the south southwest at around 10 miles an hour. Chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Some could be strong to severe. We'll continue to keep you updated on that as we go through the day and into the afternoon and evening hours. The photo of the day comes to us from Matthew Miller. This is down in Kannapolis, and you can see Matthew got a pretty good shot of some clouds down there uh, with a little bit of a sunset going on in the background. And again, this is down in the uh, Kannapolis area right down there in downtown Kannapolis uh, where the uh, research campus is near the atrium ballpark where the cannonballer is playing all that. Thank you, Matthew, for submitting that photo to us. And you can submit your weather-related photos to us for a chance to be selected as the photo of the day. Uh, you can send those to us on uh, by submitting them on Facebook or Twitter. You can also send those to us by heading over to rowancountyweather.com on the About Us tab. Click that tab. At the bottom of the page, you will see a link where you can email me and you can send your photos directly with that email as well. The Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, 
Pine Straw and other various services. For more information on services provided, give them a call 980-521-1937. And you see the pollen outlook has high levels of pollen in the air today and Tuesday. And then again on Friday, we'll get a little bit of relief on Wednesday and Thursday with some rain chances and cooler temperatures could drop us back to low levels on Wednesday and medium levels on Thursday. And if you're a seasonal allergy sufferer like myself, that is uh, some good news for you if it comes to fruition. The mowing forecast, well, it's kind of an up and down uh, situation here. We've got a yellow light out with the potential for rain to interfere with getting it done today. Again, rain and thunderstorms likely, so that could interfere with getting it done. Tomorrow looks good. It's going to be a dry day, so that might be your best bet. And then again on Wednesday, you got opportunities during the, the morning hours and maybe the early afternoon, but as we head into the mid-afternoon and into the evening, rain chances return that could interfere with getting it done on Wednesday. If you're looking for something to do, and tomorrow is a good day to do it since it's going to be dry out there, the spring fling on the farm going on right now. For more information, visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash spring hyphen fling hyphen on hyphen the and hyphen farm for all the details on spring fling on the farm. The mosquito forecast, we've got medium levels of activity for the first half of the week and some low levels coming back in for the last half of the week as uh, cooler temperatures will uh, kind of keep them on the sideline for us. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the morning with some Isolated showers possible as we go through the morning hours, as we head to the afternoon and evening, those thunderstorm chances become possible with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, uh, high of 79, low of 53. And some of these shower or some of these thunderstorms could be strong to severe. So we'll keep you updated on that. On Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies, high of 69, low of 48. On Wednesday, we'll see a 30% chance of rain during the morning hours, high of 62, mostly cloudy skies, low of 43. And I think I need to go back and tell you, I think when I was talking about the mowing forecast a moment ago, I said the best chance uh, would be in the morning as rain chances are moving on the afternoon. Obviously, I got that a little backed up. So flip that around. You might want to sit and take a break in the morning. And then by the afternoon, you can get out there and get it done. On Thursday, partly sunny skies, high of 67, 40% chance of uh, showers and thunderstorms Thursday evening with a low of 47. And then on Wednesday, or excuse me, Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 70 with partly cloudy skies Friday evening and a low of 47. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Monday. We'll keep you updated on the rain. And if anything severe starts making its way toward us, we'll keep you aware of that as well. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.